I think the score sheet speaks for itself when you talk about how you all shot in the first half. How important was it for you after a game on Sunday where you were fighting tooth and nail to come out and dominate in all phases of the game? I think it was really important. I think uh, whenever you know the team's hitting shots, it kind of boosts everybody's confidence up to hit even more shots. And I felt like we are doing a good job of pushing in the transition and sharing the ball, which also really helps just getting open shots and knocking them down. And um, you know, Alcorn State uh, is a really good team, but I think that we did a good job of, uh, you know, just finding the open girl, and that just created easy shots for us. How much fun is it to play in an atmosphere like that? It's fun. It's kind of crazy, but it's really fun to see, you know, the community out um, and all the kids and screaming for us. And it's fun after the game kind of getting to talk to a few of them. And, uh, you know, they seemed like they had a fun time, and we had a fun time too. Coach talked about the need for consistency, and in that third quarter, you guys didn't shoot the ball well. So how do you go about working on that in the next few days, getting ready for DePaul? Yeah, I think every single game you're going to kind of hit a, you know, a scoring drought or a shooting drought, and I thought we did a good job of, you know, getting offensive boards after our misses and just trying to, you know, run some more offense and trying to get to the free throw line or get to the basket a little bit more. And even though we weren't shooting necessarily well, I still felt like we were scoring a lot just from, you know, different looks and maybe just three-pointers. You got 18 plus minutes tonight from the youngins, Amber Jamison, Jordan Hankins, Palace, all freshmen. How important is it for you as a team to have young players play significant minutes early on? I think it's really important. I think it's important uh, across the board just to get, you know, as many looks as we can for um, our teammates. They they give it their all in practice every day, and you know they're just as important um, on and off the court to us. So I think today, you know, they were really rewarded for their hard work and. Um, you know, I thought Lydia Rohde also gave us some great minutes, as well as Allie Tuttle and, um, you know, the rest of them. So I felt like, uh, you know, we're going to need that coming forward. So it was really good. Nia, yeah, I guess the kind of the same way we asked Maggie to start, but how important was it for you guys to, to come out and just set the tone early and, and take over this game from the get-go? Mm -hmm. um, we really want to come out to all practices and all games with the mentality that, um, you know, we have a lot to – not, well, we have a lot to lose, but we always want to make sure that we're playing hard and we're playing together so we won't be in situations that we don't want to be in. So. What's it like out on the basketball court when, like in the first half, you're clicking on all cylinders? How much fun is it to play when everybody's in rhythm? I mean, that's, it's just a beautiful game. And just um, when we're all playing together with such great chemistry, it makes the game that much more fun to play with. Um, and then on, when we're clicking on both ends of the court, it just makes the game a lot faster and a lot just better for all around. And you add in 5,000 kids to the game, and the atmosphere <laughs> becomes even crazier, right? Yeah, it's beautiful to see the stands full um, with just, like, happy and loud kids. It changes the atmosphere. You guys out-rebounded them by 17 tonight. What was the key there? Um, we did not rebound how we wanted to do the first half, and so when we went into our locker room, we made the adjustment. Um, it was just a mentality, and we just had to make sure that we boxed out, and it was just heart, and we just had to go after it. How do you take this and, and move forward now looking ahead to, to DePaul and obviously a big, came, mm -hmm. big game coming up on Saturday? Definitely. We still had a lot of mistakes in this game. So, of course, um, looking at our mistakes and just correcting them in practices starting now, um, we have to start having the mentality that we are going to play our best basketball here on out.